Yeah, we have uh, chosen to work with Moding Machine Tool because it's a family business. We have, uh, we are family, we are three people, three uh, uh, brothers. We are three brothers that are uh, working together since about five years. And Modig is a family company. And we think that with that um, spirit and that enthusiasm that is in the company, it fits perfect for us together with David Modig to run this business together with the Modig uh, automation system and Modig machine tool. The technical synergy is that we use the same platform today. We are fully incorporated with the Modig machine tool. That means that we have the R&D, we have the manufacturing, and we also make FAT and uh, uh, startup and test in the Modig, new Modig uh, facilities in Kalmar. It's a several reasons to use automation, and especially that to make a higher output of the production is one of the main added value when you put in automation in your solutions. The next thing is cost reduction because today it's very difficult to get operators and employees to run the production and with automation you can make it more high efficiency and also use more shifts only with few employees. Uh, the third thing is the high output which is very important. High output means that sometimes you have a lot of scrap if you handle it manual, but with a robot you can handle it much more carefully, but even faster. So you will have this is the main free uh, added value we can say about automation together with the machines. The technical synergy between Modig machine tools and uh, Modig automation is that we use the same platform for the control system. We also use the resources with R&D to make the best and profitable solution for the customer. A customer comes to us with, uh, for example, parts for automotive, especially today when the EV uh, change over will come. There is a lot of new components uh, which need to be run in a much more efficient way by machining, but also by the automation. Other thing is like aerospace, who has very complicated parts uh, which need high precision machines and therefore also use the robot also as a control like vision inspection, post-processing methods afterwards, the milling process is done. Uh, Modig machine tool is a good partner and a good incorporation for the uh, Modig automation to make fully automation, automated uh, solutions because that they have the knowledge and a huge experience of high-speed milling machines and for high-performance machines. Normally, we, it starts with that the robot takes the incoming material, we call it the infeed process. And that can be that it's placed on pallets, it can be that it's uh, placed in conveyor lines. The robot takes over the, for example, in this case, extrusion, which we are showing here, and then put it into the machine. After the part is machined, we take it out, we call it unload area. And we want to unload, we then take it to further operations like the post process. It can be uh, vision station, vision inspection, it can be uh, laser marking, it can be the burring and washing. So it's a several type of added operation afterwards. We are in the same location as the Modig machine tool today and that means that when it comes a new machine we can just add on the automation system, we make a test run 
and then the customer can come for a fully FAT test in the same facility. We also have all our experts in the same building that makes fast and uh, very easy decisions together with the customers. Because uh, VMO has been working in a lot of different types of industries and we could use some of our experience also crosswise in other areas and that makes that we can um, think in little new ways. Uh, we have experience from very critical processes which we can use, especially about short cycle times, which is very important added value for using the automation. And of course we can also know quite a lot about how we can implement the data exchange between the machine and the robot handling. Um, if you look into the future and want to grow if you're in your uh, business, then you should not forget the Modi Group.